I do think that having that special someone, that unconditional life partner, gives us strength. Okay then, life. dears. I've decided to not go for Story of the Sky. It feels as though that's going to be a bit of a masterpiece. And so I want to build to it a little bit. And so I think I'm going to react to Sinful Passion and maybe Omiya before I go for Story of the Sky. Today I'm going to do Sinful Passion. I'm looking forward to it because it's this man, Dimash. Again, hope you like what I go for. Let's click play. Казахстан всегда гордился и гордится своими талантами. Сейчас на сцену выйдет представитель уже нового поколения казахстанских звезд. Парень, раньше нас, друзья, с вами понял, где больше зрителей поехал в Китай. И, между прочим, там, внимание, победил в проекте «Голос». В Китае человек из Казахстана победил с хитом о студио «Грешная любовь». Впервые на новой волне. Прорыв года. Димаш Кудайбергенов. С песней «Грешная страсть». Знала ты, что мне нужна только ты одна. His voice in the lower range is so lovely, isn't it? I feel as though just someone who could sing in that lower range with that amount of control would just be, you know, I would listen to, let alone without everything else he can do with his voice. Like I come from a history of. Uh, loving swing, um, swing singers. So Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, and even these days I'm a big fan of Michael Bublé. And and he sings as well, if not better, in this lower range than they do. And that and the lower range was their thing. Do you know what I mean?
You know, when you do um, a reaction, a reaction actually isn't a reaction. And the reason why it's not a reaction is because you are reacting whilst being aware of the fact that there's a camera pointed at you and that you need to say some words that make sense in relation to what's happening on the screen. And because of that, sometimes you don't become absorbed in something that you're watching. I mean, you might pretend to be, but maybe um, that's sort of like part of the reaction um, trade, isn't it? But it's hard to become absorbed when you're thinking about what it is that you're gonna say. And so there, there came a point in that song in the lab, I don't know, about two minutes had gone through. And to be honest with you, what was going through my mind was, gosh, I'm panicking a little bit here because I don't know what to say. And in being in that place psychologically, I wasn't really connecting with the experience of the, uh, of the song. And so at that point, I almost like stopped trying to problem solve. I stopped trying to, you know, be a person that said smart things about um, whatnot. I just sort of like tried to connect with the, uh, with the song. And I think in doing so, the classic thing happened whereby someone sings some words and some of those words, they land in your own mind and are applied to your own life. And so as soon as I made that turn and I stepped away from having to say smart things and just connect with the song, to be honest, I started thinking about my wife. And it's fine, isn't it? It's fine for me to speak about my wife on YouTube because she's never gonna watch my videos. Um, but some of the sentiments there about um, I'll drink the potion dry and the the sentiments about the depth of love and how that love can bring someone back from the abyss there's something that really sits well with me about that I do think that having that special someone that unconditional life partner gives us strength. You know, my wife gives me such strength. And so that's what I sort of what I'm getting from from this is whoever wrote this managed amongst the slog and the rat race of life to connect with the importance of another person for them. And now having watched this performance, I'm doing that as well, which is lovely. That's what a piece of music should be doing, right? It should be opening our eyes to things that are important to us. And that's what this is doing. I like the, it, I, I want a, a slow burning bright in the misty, misty something or other. It's more of like this poetic language that's like typical of Dimash songs. I, did, I was wondering, what does that mean? And I don't know, like I can, you can, things, you can apply meaning really, really easily. Our minds are brilliant actually at applying meaning, but meaning for me would be a slow burning flame, right? So relative to finding someone, being swept off your feet, and it burning out really, really quickly. That's not what we want not for the depth that he's talking about with this song, the depth of relationship. He wants a slow burning, burning light. And he talks about in the misty weather or something. I don't know, I don't know whether, whether he's talking about how the weather's always changing and the situations in our lives are always changing. And if we've got that slow burning bright as a constant in our life, it can help to anchor us and give us strength. If I was to put my own meaning onto those lyrics, that's where I'd be. The words sinful passion, I can't make out. Answers in the comments, because obviously you all dears out there, you'll have known more about the meaning behind the song and the history of it. Sinful passion, why is it sinful? Why is it sinful? 
I don't know. I wish I could have an answer for you. I haven't got an answer for you. I'm going to not try and be smart. I'm just going to accept. I don't know what that means, really. All right, let's carry on watching. He's gone into his, like, uh, soprano voice now. It's amazing that he can do so much within one song. Видел бы эту картину Басков сейчас. Боюсь, у Коли был бы сердечный приз. Man, the people of Kazakhstan must be so proud of him. But I, you know, my 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 gut says that he sees himself as a human of the world rather than as a person that belongs to any one place. I think that's a much nicer way of. I don't really understand sort of like, you know, national rivalries and people disliking entire groups of people from other countries doesn't make any sense to me as far as i'm concerned we're all citizens of the world and we should be trying to help each other through it and support each other i seem to have paused it at a terrible time there right because there were no other words actually after i um after i after i paused it and did that big uh, big monologue um, i'm struck again by the the performance of it but I also think that I've learned something about my own reactions to this stuff which is how important it is to try and connect with what's going on in front of me relative to formulating some you know psychological comment or insightful comment about stuff because otherwise I'm being too brainy and not enough hearty and, and, I, and I think heart is what's needed when it comes to Dimash and um, the stuff that he puts out there alright after this it is Omir, I'm going to go for that one and um, maybe in the next couple of weeks and then I'm going to I'm going to get to Story of the Sky which I'm really looking forward to to because it feels like it is his pièce de résistance and I sort of don't want to get there too early because I want to look forward to it. All right, take care everyone and uh, thanks again for watching my reaction to this wonderful human being. All right, take care. Bye-bye.